Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, I didn't think I'd be doing this in 2024, but uh, with the recent uh, recent news coming on with FaZe Clan and FaZe Rain and everything going down, it's just it's insane under the scope or, or whatever this podcast. FaZe Rain and FaZe Swag Podcast. It's a episode 12 with FaZe Rain. FaZe Rain joined the lobby. That's the name of the podcast. Super awesome. I love to see the boy, you know, grow up and glow. You know what I'm saying? But following him since day one, 2018, Black Ops 4 or whatever. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways, FaZe Rain and Dope Ajola have recently collaborated on like a new product line. The collaboration uh, was called Recovery, R-C-V-R-Y. Uh, it includes various cannabis products as THCA and THCP, uh, two gram disposable vapes, 250 milligram lifted liquid syrups, and 750 milligram jars of gummies. It's just a whole bunch of like stuff. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but these are the facts that I got written down. Collaboration generated significant excitement among fans of both Phase Rain and Dope Joel, and even I was a little bit interested into it. I don't really dabble in the cannabis products, but sometimes I wonder, you know. If the anxiety meds or the cannabis products are better working for me, I, I, I got to experiment a little bit, but, you know, I've got to be careful with that. Um, and they just really wanted to bring this together because, you know, FaZe Clan's got the clothing collaborations. They got the sports collaborations. And now they also had the, the World Health collaborations with G Fuel, but now it's Ghost and uh, the weight gain and muscle mass supplements and all the other kind of stuff that they got. Uh, just a whole lifestyle brand outside of gaming and now cannabis has become such a large part of the gaming scene so it only makes sense that phase rain would want to collab with you know dope Isola. anyways the recent drama between phase rain and dope Isola centers around accusations and misunderstandings related to their collaborations and between the parties miscommunication miss dms misunderstandings phase rain has publicly criticized dope Isola, alleging that yola was being fake and potentially scamming him over their joint cannabis products. It sparked a series of social media exchanges where FaZe Rain expressed his frustrations and concerns, which fans have discussed extensively uh, on platforms like Reddit and YouTube and, and Twitter. Uh, there was also a, a notable incident where FaZe Rain mentioned in an Instagram story that Yola had deceived him regarding the quality of business aspects of their collaboration. In response, Dope Ajola defended himself as, as he would, claiming the accusations were unfounded and that there have been a misunderstanding. Or, he's just saying that there's no basis for the actual accusations, and I'm not one to say that FaZe Rain um, is just pulling stuff out of his ass. That's not the kind of guy he really is, so there must be a huge misunderstanding here. But despite the tension, the collaboration between the two on the recovery cannabis line remains popular, showcasing a blend, once again, of the THCA and THCP products, vape syrups and gummies and all that good stuff. Uh, I still think it's going to come, but he, I guess he said he owed him like, so like a large, like six figures amount of money on the podcast. I don't remember the exact number. I didn't write it down, but it's insane to me. You, you hate to see this is like the worst of the worst uh, collaborations, you know, miscommunications and stuff like that just falls apart. I really hope we can get this uh, down the pipeline. I'm pretty sure they just need to sit down in a room face to face instead of just DMing each other all the time. That would really get it together, but I'm really hoping for the best. I really like Dope and Jola. I really like FaZe Rain, and it just kind of feels like two friends on the internet just fighting. They just really don't like each other. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be copying these cannabis products? Is the cannabis product going to have the FaZe Rain logo on it, or is it just going to have the FaZe Clan logo? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? I love that. Be good. Be good. Be safe to each other. I'll see you all in the next one. And I'm out of here.